Today, Minister of Sport Lisa McLeod announced a major investment being put back into Huntsville from these winter games held nearly two years ago. I was pleased that uh, there is $82,000 left uh, from this investment, which makes this, uh, this legacy uh, even more special. And so I'm looking forward to, uh, to hearing from the municipality and as well as from others on how, what their vision is and, and, and how they see this uh, moving into fruition to keep the, the game's legacy on. And, and just a final note, um, as much as we talk about the re restoring confidence in sport in a post-pandemic, uh, sport hosting will be critical uh, to the economic recovery of our province. And that is why the ministry, um, in conjunction with all of our colleagues at the, at the legislature, uh, will be ensuring that the sport hosting events uh, that we plan out uh, years in advance for uh, will continue to be supported. And uh, this event in particular is, is a good example of how a, a targeted investment from the provincial government can support an entire community um, with a great economic impact. On top of this recent investment, the Games also provided economic benefit during their run in Huntsville in 2019 due to the number of athletes who stayed and shopped in the community, a point Mayor Karen Terziano was happy to highlight during this announcement. Uh, hosting the Ontario 55 Winter Games in 2019 provided a great benefit to our community. Um, it happens in our solar winter months, it happens midweek, and uh, it's and it's uh, anyways, it's a great uh, benefit to our community and it also provides um, an opportunity for our 55 plus athletes to showcase their sports. Um, events like this um, and the legacy funds that provide opportunities for seniors in the community to increase their opportunities, as well as in this case, it'll help uh, propel the post COVID-19 recovery of sport. 